Okay, just continuing from the previous video, I just wanted to show that the solution actually does solve this differential equation. So let's check it out. Shouldn't take too long. So let's see. Uh, x is equal to x0 e to the 2t plus t, uh, 3ty0 e to the 2t. And then y is equal to just y0 e to the 2t. Good. So therefore x prime is equal to uh, 2x0 e to the 2t plus 3y0 e to the 2t. Be sure and use the product rule. Plus 6ty0 e to the 2t. Uh, y prime. Uh, this probably isn't going to be real entertaining just watching me do algebra, but I think uh, <laughs> this will get done pretty fast. Okay, so there's my derivative. And then we want to show that that is equal to 2, 3, 0, 2 times my uh, x and y. You think it will be? You're just going to trust me? <laughs> uh, let's see, that's going to be 2, x0, e to the 2t. Just multiply it out. Nothing special going on here. So 2 times the first one, plus 3 times the second. And then we have our 2 times our y0, e to the 2t. And what do you know? I think we have the same thing. So there you go. Uh, so now, maybe we can try uh, one more example just to see how this works. Suppose I have the following. Uh, X prime is equal to four minus two, eight minus four times x, with uh, x0 being, those are our initial conditions, about uh, 2, 3. Just to make something up. Okay, so now I see my trace is 0. My determinant is minus 16 plus 16, 0. That means lambda squared equals 0. That means lambda equals 0, 0. Hmm. What's going on here? So now I make my equation. Uh, I could double check, right, that uh, actually if you plug in uh, your lambda equals zero into your system of equations, you see that these two uh, rows here, four, negative two, eight, negative four. Eight, negative four is just two times the first row, right? Uh, and so you can see that that's why things kind of fell apart here. But let's go ahead and compute our W. So that was... Um, 4 minus 0 times x0, which is 2, plus minus 2 times y0, which is 3, equals w1. And then the other one would be 8 times 2, plus minus 4 minus 0 uh, times 3, equals w2. Good. So what is that? That's 8 minus 6 is 2 and below we have 16 minus 12 is that right 16 minus 12 would be 4 good and now we have our solution x of t is equal to e to the 0 t times uh, 2 3 plus t times 2 4 very good and so, by the way, the e to the 0t is just going to be 1. And so, therefore, our solution is actually a line in the plane. Very good. Okay. So, there really wasn't much uh, to do today, uh, except just to finish that off. 
And so let's go ahead and summarize now. Uh, summary. So to solve our system, uh, x1, x2 prime equals a, b, c, d, x1, x2, right? Find uh, the trace. You don't have to find the fit trace and determine it, but sometimes it might help. And then our uh, eigenvalues are down by solving the characteristic equation. And that is a minus lambda, uh, b, c, d minus lambda, which we know is lambda squared minus the trace of a times lambda plus the determinant of a equals zero. Good. All right. And so case one is uh, where we start. Uh, the discriminant. Should we write down what the discriminant is? Uh, it's the trace of a squared minus four times the determinant of a. If that's positive, then we have uh, lambda one and lambda two are real and distinct. And so then we solve our system of equations, a minus lambda uh, v1 plus bv2 equals zero. cv1 plus d minus lambda v2 equals zero uh, for vector v. And you do that for each lambda, right? Oops, then when you do that, I forgot to summarize my solution. What is the solution then? x of t is equal to c1 e to the lambda 1 t v1 plus c2 e to the lambda 2 t v2. Good. And then case 2 is where the trace of a squared minus 4 times the determinant of a is less than 0. Then lambda equals alpha plus beta i. Notice that I'm just using one of those, like we were talking about before. Find the eigenvector v, and then compute e to the lambda t times v. That takes a little bit of work, right? And then your solution is going to be uh, c1 times the real part of e to the lambda t times v, plus c2 times the imaginary part of e to the lambda t times v. Good. And then the stuff we did today is where the trace of a squared minus 4 times the determinant of a equals 0. And we have only one v. Remember, in the case that you get two v's, uh, that would be case 1. Go back to case 1. Say it here, two v's. Go to case one. But this is, like I say, this is a really rare situation, especially for us because we only have uh, two variables. So if they're both free, uh, I think that we, well, I think we looked at the only case where that happens. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's see. Otherwise, we solve for W in this case. And that is by taking A minus. Uh, lambda times x0 plus b times y0 is equal to w1 and then cx0 plus d minus lambda y0 equals w2 and notice that x0 where the initial conditions are x0 y0 by the way if the initial conditions are not given Just use x0 and y0 as your two initial conditions. Okay, good. And then in that case, once we found w and once we have our initial conditions, we can write x of t 
equals e to the lambda t times t, oops, times x, 0, plus t times w. Good. Thus endeth the solutions to the linear systems of differential equations. Yay. Good. So there's some homework attached uh, to the notes online. Go ahead and work through a few of those. Uh, we have finished our course in differential equations now. Uh, that's sad. Uh, we're going to be actually continuing some of the differential equations in, in the modeling class this spring. Um, I hope to see some of you there. Um, you need a little bit of linear algebra before we uh, get into the modeling class, but um, yeah, differential equations can really go lots of different directions. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the class. Um, yeah, I wish we had a chance to uh, delve into this a little bit more. Uh, oh, another, I should say, another uh, approach you can take after differential equations is to go into engineering math. Uh, engineering math is the solutions of PDEs, partial differential equations. Uh, so that's also a lot of fun. All right, I will see you later.